Hello guys, yeah, Sensor Game here, and today I made a sword that shoots pigs that kill everything. Now the original idea was idea was that I was gonna make a sword, and when you punched with the sword, it shot another sword that killed things. But when I was testing it out, and I shot a pig just to see if it worked, I thought it was pretty damn funny, so I just kept the pig because I thought it was really fun. So. Now let's demonstrate this by spawning a bunch of creepers and dragging their faces in. So as soon as I hold this sword and I punch, boom, piggy. Come on, piggy, piggy. Why is he not dying? Die. That one creeper would not die for some reason. But yeah, it shoots a pig. And uh, you might have already seen the potions. Um, now... Let's spawn a bunch more creepers, because I have one more thing to demonstrate actually. And that is something that I made. Well, basically it's just a switch. What the switch allows you to do is it allows you to turn on auto fire mode. Which means it totally ignores if you're holding the item. It will just at all times shoot pigs everywhere. As you can see. I have just wrecked all of these creepers. Come on, last one won't die. The last few. But yeah, auto fire mode. You can see it adapts to where I look. I can shoot eight directions in total. You can do more, but I've got eight directions right now. If I spawn more creepers, I will soon have them all dead. So yeah, and now let's turn off the switch. <laughs> it will just keep firing them. It's absolutely crazy and kill all the items on the ground Now let's get into how this system works. So as you can see it's not too big, but yeah We're just gonna start off right here. So the way this works um, if uh, the way the hit detection works So how I detect when you're punching with your sword is basically first well, first step is testing if you're holding the sword. I, I called it the Spectre Sword. I think that's the name of the sword in Terraria, which I built. Uh, because that's what this idea was based upon originally. It might be not a sword, didn't play it too much actually, Terraria. But yeah, if you are holding the sword, it will summon the giant, which is invisible and has resistance 50, which basically also means it won't die. Which I will demonstrate now. If I go into game mode. I thought I went into game mode earlier. I'll just type it out now. Game mode 3. Oh, crap. First I need to be holding the sword. Game mode 1. Hold the sword. Then go to game mode 3. Um, it takes damage when you do that. But you, uh, when you actually just stand still, as you can see, it's a giant. It just summons a giant, which I am now going to kill because it's very irritating. It just summons a giant that's invisible and basically invulnerable, um, which at all times is TP to you by this clock, which TPs the giant to at P, so it's constantly teleporting the giant to me. And then uh, I've got a scoreboard objective set up, which you can see in the sidebar, which is scoreboard player set at P hits zero. So that's basically uh, the scoreboard damage dealt, which is just detecting how much damage you deal. So every time I hit the giant, it goes up, and this one just sets it back to zero immediately, so that I don't sh shoot like three pigs every time I punch. Or just keep shooting them if I punch once. So then next, we've got all of these. Now, the first command block with all of these is just detecting which way I'm looking. So this one is testing if I'm looking south, I've got south, southwest, east, northeast, north, uh, north, yeah, all that stuff. I don't know. All the directions. So I've got eight of them. So I've got all of the primary, which are south, east, north, and southwest, north, and east. Yeah. And then I've got the one in between. So I've got eight directions, which isn't very accurate. So... You, if you add more of these uh, with the radiuses, you could shoot them in a lot of directions, make it very accurate and make it shoot exactly where you're looking. You could even go so far as to make them within a range of like two, um, 
too so that it shoots incredibly accurate but I did not do that in this case I so yeah first thing it does is it just and it also tests for a hit score of one minimal of one so it can be much more because it is more when you actually hit the giant with the iron sword and then it tests where you're looking and if you've got the hit score of one if you do it will execute at you summon pig one in a block in front of you in this case um, yeah in all of these cases uh, sometimes it summons it from behind you but it, at least it doesn't summon it in your face it's basically what this one does so sometimes it's behind you beside you all that stuff but uh, one block above you because it goes from your feet and then it will actually summon a pig with a motion of 1.2 and 0 0.2 upwards that's so that it doesn't just not go at all because it doesn't have any upwards velocity upwards motion and then a motion of 10 in this case towards there uh, um, well towards the e the south which differentiates from one to one with the direction it fires so this is basically a command look that fires a pig with the motion data tag and it shoots the pig but pigs flying at people it doesn't kill mobs or people in minecraft by standard so i've got this really fast clock set up here with just set block one uh, beside it redstone block zero destroy which is just constantly replacing this redstone block destroying it uh if you do use this clock turn off tile drops uh if i can find the game rule command here turn off tile drops because otherwise it will just absolutely be filled with redstone blocks everywhere they will be every there everywhere it will be very irritating and yeah you don't want that so next um all of these command block command blocks these four these four and this one they are all for the fully automatic firing i don't know why this one isn't deactivated right now so basically what's the case here is that whenever I think I knew why it wasn't activated but just a minute is when I flip the switch it will basically remove these redstone blocks and allow these to be uh, uh, command blocks to be RAM which is basically uh, setting all of these blocks to unpowered comparators which is a trick I use a lot uh, so that they keep reactivating and keep shooting the pig all of the time and then this one is just constantly setting your hit score to 2 so that the criteria here for a minimum hit score of 1 is also true so that it just keeps shooting the pigs just constantly and it's, it's ignoring if you're uh, where having the sword or if the giant's even there it's just constantly shooting them um, now that part isn't really important I just wanted to do that because I thought it would be fun like really fun I think I just skipped what the clock is actually powering. The clock is actually powering a command that is constantly summoning a throne potion at the pig with a like a potion of harming 50. Which just insta kills basically everything. So it's a kind of an OP pig. So you can, if you want to have it less OP, just turn the amplifier down on the potion of harming that it drops. It will be a less OP pig or you can just remove the tag with custom potion effects completely and just have a normal potion of harming too which isn't completely op uh so yeah that's it this might is a system that i might keep working on to have it be more accurate with the directions and maybe even actually shoot the sword eventually maybe i'll do that anyways but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one